If you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And it's almost June of 2019, and we're still dropping money plays on this channel. The grind never stops, man. And we're going to do the same for Madden 20. So if you're new to the channel and you're not even sub, man, make sure you sub because just like Madden 19, when Madden 20 drops, I'm taking it under the microscope, man, right? And I'm going to expose the cheese, the glitches, all the stuff that comes within the old coding of Madden. It's still going to be there. I got to go down there and find it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to get my shovels and get the crew. You know what I mean? We're going to have to start digging up, digging up all the good stuff. Dig for the gold, man. It's going to help you guys win games because... You can't be a pro Madden player unless you know the best glitches in the game. That's just the way it works. How you win belts, man? The truth hurts. I know it hurts some of you people, but it is what it is. Don't blame me for the developers making a piss poor game because I'm going to tell you guys right now, no matter what happens or what they show you, features in Madden 20, it's not going to be what you guys think, man. All right. It's old coding from, from these games, from Madden 19. If you like Madden 19 and Madden 18, you know how ferocious these those games were, you're going to love you some Madden 20. It's going to be the same thing. All right. People are asking me, well, how come you're not posting gameplay? Bro, check out my previous video, man. I couldn't even break a thousand views. People know me for these videos right here, showing them best plays and stuff like that. So if I draw something like gameplay, that hurts my channel. That video right there probably hurt my channel, man. You know what I mean? Now, I get it. People just want to see this stuff, and it's fine. But let's stop the talking. Let's get into the play. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and it's the flip trips. You guys already know the flip trips. Now, the first play, if I can find it, it's going to be called the deep curls. You see the deep curls right there with the little wheel route? That play right there. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. If you're facing someone that's running cover three and they're not making adjustments, okay, for the most part, they're going to make adjustments, but I need to show you guys both variations. No adjustments. How do you tell if it's no adjustments? Pay attention to the linebackers. They give it away what what they're doing as far as adjustments. Okay, uh, right here, no adjustments. It doesn't even matter what. I'm just going to let the play develop. Just pay attention to the linebackers. Okay, you see what they're doing. You see how they bunch up. That's how you know they're not running adjustments in cover three. Let's pay attention again. Watch how the linebackers move when there's no adjustments on defense. Pay attention. Boom, watch the linebackers. They stick together. You see that, man, how they come together? Now, let me put adjustments out there so you guys can see what's going on with these linebackers. Put adjustments. Pay attention now. Everybody backs and spreads apart. Get, bet you guys didn't even know this, right? I bet you guys didn't even realize this. I'm opening your minds up to something new. Now, pay attention. No adjustments. Look how they stick together. Look, you see that? No adjustments in cover three. That's how you pick apart someone's defense. If they're playing cover three, run like flip trips, right? And, and, and throw you like a little drag out here, okay? And then watch watch, watch the line and how they hang together. You see those two? Now, I changed the play out for this play, so they're going to react a little bit different. But you can use this as a base play to tell if they're making adjustments. Let's do this again. No adjustments, cover three. It's very important because what I'm about to show you guys is, is how you read the play. So right here, boom. Those two guys stick in the middle, just like that. No, no adjustments, cover three. Okay, so now that we know that, there's two routes that you're going to look for on this play. And no adjustments, it's going to be the A route. On that wheel route, you're going to highball it. Money all day if your quarterback can throw it. This guy right there. Every single time, not even I don't even think a user can pick that off. Especially if, you, especially if you're using a tall wide receiver with good jump ratings like an ultimate team, then I can be able to pick that off. But A is going to get wide open every single time. No adjustments in cover three. Okay. Now, it's rare. Obviously, you play someone, they're going to put co uh, cover three adjustments. And you kind of want them to if you think about it. And I'm going to show you guys why here in a little bit. So go ahead and do it again. You'll see we're just going to run this over and over. Uh, sometimes, I guess, sometimes he'll drop the ball. But you guys know verticals from the bunch in cover three gets open almost the same way. Almost the same thing. I think it gets open a little bit better. But this one out of flip trips. A will get open. You just high ball this to the, to the top like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to throw a high ball, bro. And how do you throw a high ball? Because people don't know how to throw a high ball. It's June of 2019, man. We're almost the next man and people still don't get it. You LB or L1. You got to hold LB or L1. I don't know if the mechanics are going to be the same in Madden 20. They probably are. But you hold LB or L1 and then throw it to the receiver you want. Boom, just highball that. You'll see this. You see how consistent this is? And if you have a better receiver, Fitzgerald's a good receiver, but there's probably better receiver. Well, I don't know, man. I think his rating's pretty good. I should probably go look at those ratings. You know what I'm saying? Like his jump and all that. Because right now he's doing some work. Now, the quarterback sometimes throws it uh, 
too far but you'll see over and over no adjustments in cover three boom all day every day you see you see that i'm just doing random cover three and it's still getting open because that's the way it's designed one more time right here hey wait for him there there the linebackers all sticking together in the middle of the field boom now that's rare obviously now if i put cover three adjustments ace well actually this doesn't even count right here i'm just let me just uh, throw this right here okay uh if they put adjustments in cover three the a route's gonna it, it's gonna get locked up so if i try to throw this a route check this out i'm gonna th try to throw this a route boom you know you could probably still catch it because the high ball but sometimes you're gonna get in that animation where uh they they knock the ball out of your hands or something like that well just pay attention but you see how linebackers actually you see right there that right there okay so if they put adjustments in cover three i want you guys to see what route actually opens up pay attention to the middle toward the left side of the field watch this bro if i can get this pass off look at this oh did I just hit my own guy? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the receiver. Let's do this again. Adjustments in cover three. I'm going to slide protect left this time. He's going to block. But pay attention to RB, bro. Pay attention to RB, bro. He's going to get open every single time in adjustments in cover three. You're probably going to get a one play TD. Probably put your fastest receiver in that position and then put your tallest receiver in the wheel route. Make sense? You guys, you guys with me so far? Let's go ahead and do this again. Probably, I mean, this guy's pretty fast, if you think about it. I'm gonna slide protect left. And I'm not making any adjustments on the play. So I actually threw that too early. That's my fault, that's my fault. I felt like I didn't have time to throw that. I felt like the D-line was already caving in on me. And you guys know that the D-line in practice mode is ferocious, you know what I mean? They're ferocious, bro. Let's, let's not lie, let's not lie to each other anymore. Look at RB, boom. Now, can that be user? Obviously, you know what I mean? So you're gonna have to scheme this, scheme it. Now, the last play I wanna show you guys is gonna be out of the same formation and set. Come back over here to flip trips. Name of the play is gonna be the slot trail. Uh, against cover three, adjustments. Just follow my lead, man. Do what I'm telling you guys and you're gonna be all right. So I'm gonna put adjustments out there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna streak B, motion him out and put A on a fade, okay? Now, in cover three, sometimes, uh, if you guys don't know this, if you're gonna be running flood concepts, because that's what this is, against some cover threes, it's probably better to fade like this, all right? Because you want to take advantage of using that blue, because if you if you don't know, like right here, this is a cover three defense, but you can't tell it's cover three. So where's that blue? Is it the guy, the safety on the right that's a blue, or is it the guy on the left that's a blue? You don't know, right? So if I streak and then I pick the wrong guy, then the right side corner doesn't have to respect it. Like right there, see? Now he's closer. You see that, what I'm saying? Look, let me show you guys an instant replay. I'm trying to teach you guys a lot, as much as I can uh, with the plays that I show you. I'm trying to give you more than just a play. I'm not, I'm trying to give you more than just a play. I'm trying to get you guys to, to, to get better at reading this stuff. So you see right there, back here, I don't know who's the blue. And you're not going to know, right? Because your opponent flipped the play, blah, blah, blah. And then hide his defense by base aligning. You don't know who the blue is, right? So I put that streak there. And I put him on a streak. But this guy over here to the right <clears throat> is in the vicinity. Able to make a play. Now, how do we combat that against cover three? And the way we do that is we put him on a fade route. So B on a fade like this. A on a, on a flat. I don't know if I went over the adjustments. A on a flat, B on a fade in cover three. Right here, it's a little bit more easier, but if they baseline, it's not. You don't know who the blue is. I already know who the blue is. It's obviously, it's being told right now. And if you see that, then you can streak B. I already know the guy on the left side of the screen is the streak, which means I can streak B now because of that. And now my RB will be completely wide open. You guys learning something new today, bro? Money play master. I'm teaching you guys as much as I can, bro, all right? Now, right here, if you're not sure, here we go. I'm going to fade B because I'm not sure, bro. I don't know what side that blue's on. But actually, you know what? I didn't. Hold on. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Let me reset the play. Okay, I don't know what side the blue's on. And this is important because people say, oh, this won't work. You have to read the defenses, bro. I mean, that's that's the name of the game. If you're not sure, you need to use routes that are more than likely going to contain blues, okay? So right here, a streak may not contain the blue, but a fade will. Pay attention, okay? I don't know who the blue is. Okay, so right there, that guy's backing up, but still, with the fade, I'm still able to hit this guy because of the fade. So I recommend using the fade a lot more than not. 
So right here, I already know who the blue is. So I could streak B and really get my guy open. You know what I mean? Because I saw the way he base aligned. I saw who the cover three guy was. But if you're not sure, then just fade him. Simple as that, man. It's that easy. And then still hit the RB route. And you're going to see that my man gets open a lot more when you fade the B route as opposed to streaking him. Now in cover two, I just want to show you guys. So I'm just, just do it all. Your read is going to be simple. Either the flat, okay? Either the flat or the RB route. One or the other. Now you can streak B, you can fade him. I recommend if you know the defense, then obviously it's going to be a streak because I'm running straight for that deep blue because there's two deep blues. I'm gunning straight for that guy. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not sure, you don't know what your opponent's running, then you go back to a fade, okay? And then you're going to go high low read, either the flat route or the RB route. Watch the corner to the right side. It's that simple. It's not rocket science. You know what I'm saying? So right here, boom, boom, boom. He stays down. I'm going to wait for RB, and I'm going to overthrow it by a mile. So better quarterbacks are a lot better. That's just something that you guys need to realize. Same thing. I'm going to shade over the top, and we're going to read it the same way. If it's covered two, I'm streaking, putting A on a flat like this. So my play is going to look like this. You can do whatever you want on the left side. I recommend putting X on an end route because better players are going to know your flood concept and they're going to be over there trying to mess it all up. You know what I'm saying? So X on an end route will just, you're, you're creating another open receiver because the user is over on the right side occupied trying to stop your flood concept. And then you're going to come over the middle of the field with the X route. But right here, he drops back too far. Then I hit A. But since he doesn't, I'm leading, I'm pass leading up and I'm throwing that corner out all day every day all right last time i'm gonna run it for you guys but this time i'm gonna use cover two hard flat so you guys can see the difference and what to look for watch the corner to the right he gives the play away he's gonna tell you everything you need to know about this play okay the user is gonna help by running to the right and then you're gonna hit the x right over the middle so let's go ahead and do this again they play hard flats he stays down boom rb's gonna be wide open i rat catch that and i take off so there it is man those plays that you can use from flip trips, if you're already using these plays, man, shout out to you, bro. I want to say the Chiefs have this as well. I'm not sure, but be ready, man, because we're going to drop more and more as much as we can. Love you guys, man. Peace.